All right. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I fucked up my throat like two seconds ago. <clears throat> Which is why it's taking me a little longer to get started. <laughs> but I think we're good. I think we're fine. Uh, Salvia and Luna, hello and welcome. Also, Luna, thank you for the contribution to Wholesome Week. Woo. Um. Hi, it's been a weird week already. <laughs> And it's only Wednesday, but also, it's Wednesday. We're like halfway through. We got this. Um, yeah, I meant to stream on Monday, but, you know, I had to work late because I didn't get any sleep this weekend, but that's fine. Uh, but that did kind of like throw a, a wrench into the plans for this week. I was planning on playing one of our other longer games. Um, but all in all, I guess it's worked out because Dead Space is happening this weekend. Um, potentially even on Friday. We'll see. Um, and Arcade Kitten's new game comes out on Friday as well. Uh, Blackout Hospital. Y'all should check it out and play it. Um, but I will be playing it on the channel on Monday. <clears throat> Assuming I stream that day. But the plan is to play blackout hospital this next week so you got all weekend to play it and check it out and get through it yourself um and you should do that you, sh you should do that apologies that my lighting's all funky this 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 side of my face it's gonna be all dark i have a new monitor coming in on friday i think should be on friday um and set up my uh my monitor mounts, which is delightful, but I haven't had a chance to actually like get my my light set up anywhere, so our lighting's a little funky, but that's okay. <gasps> Hi, Lumi. How are you doing, friend? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited for I'm excited for the weekend. I will probably, <clears throat> I know I know I normally don't do it, but I'll probably have a face cam for the Dead Space stream. Um. Even though I'll be streaming with Fruity. We'll see We'll see what I end up doing with that. I'm trying to organize things more here. Because uh, I want to change my layouts again. Imagine that. I'm not happy with how anything looks. Wowee! Um, but yeah, for today, we are going to do some uh, stories untold. It's a uh, neat like anthology. It's not anthology, really. Uh, chapter-based game from No Code, who are doing uh, one of the new Silent Hill games that are coming out uh, alongside Annapurna. And it's been a very long time since I've played this. I did The House Abandoned at one point, um, back before I started streaming. And I don't think I played any of the other ones uh, from, from the series, so that'll be fun. It might be interesting to do as kind of like an in-between game for a little bit. I don't remember how long how long this is, but you know, that's fine. Um but yeah, that's the plan for today. Uh I do have to start figuring out what we're gonna do for wholesome week, because y'all are kinda getting through that. Um more more of I need to determine if I just wanna do like a single game for the week or if I wanna do <gasps> smiley. Or if Smiley I want to do multiple. S-M-I-L-E. Smiley, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, a friend. Um, you still working? You are still working right now. <laughs> I have abandoned work so I can stream. I'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, at least today's been, like, nice. Slower. Slower than normal, it seemed like. Um... No, never. Not ever. I would never ask you to leave. Um, but yeah, thank you, Travis, for getting the shout out out there. Um, but yeah, we're going to do Stories Untold. It is... <clears throat> so from what I remember of The House Abandoned, which is not a lot, uh, it is a text adventure, but I think... <laughs> and I am playing it on the Switch. I think it lets... Like, it gives me an option of inputs as opposed to me having to type with the Switch keyboard. Um... If anybody wants to play this game and check it out, I would recommend getting it on PC. I think it's only like 10 bucks. I picked it up on Switch though because it was on sale and I was like, yeah, let's go. Um, so that'll be fun 
to figure out. Also, that sounded so loud. Where, where has, where has it gone? Hold on a second. There it is. Great. Uh, I needed, <clears throat> I needed my, whatever that's called, volume mixer back. Um, so yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get started. That's not what I want. <laughs> don't, don't perceive my Switch and the bad games that I've been playing. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I, it's, again, mostly just something to do between the time that Dead Space comes out and Black, uh, Blackout, Ho uh, Blackout Hospital comes out. We need something to do, and I didn't want to start, like, Resident Evil or something. Because those are longer games, and I really, 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 really like those. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think I played any of these other ones. Only the house abandoned. Revisiting a family home after years of absence, man discovers more about himself through an old text adventure game. Ooh-wee! Find yourself stuck trying to look around for clues. Okay, can do. Um. So yeah, it'll be neat. That feels very loud, but I don't think it is. If it is, just let me know. Um. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. It'll be nice to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't remember much from this. So it'll be interesting to revisit it. Because <laughs> I think I played it when it came out. When did it come out? Like 2018, 2019, I think? Horrible noises, though. All right. <clears throat> Can I? You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as, I as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Can I? Oh. Oh. I can zoom. Interface. <clears throat> um. Look. Glove box. Glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Okay. Can I open glove box i do appreciate that it gives me the prompts though <laughs> inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad you take both um can i look at the note notice from your dad and reads hi son hope you enjoy your break you'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power uh power and lights on also found something in the attic for you it's in your room Enjoy. Okay. Oh god, you're gonna go through the text every time, aren't you? Um. Also, we have subtitles on vibration function. <clears throat> Can we go outside? You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Uh, we, we're supposed to go out back, right? To turn on the generator? Go around? Take a walk around the yard. <clears throat> the yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around? You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Use generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. 
The house is still dark. Uh, go around again. You walk back around to the front of the house. And we know what this is. Um, can I go to the front door? Oh, <laughs> okay. Doesn't understand. Um, open front door? Door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key? You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Uh, go. Go house? And step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. You switch? You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Um... Go to kitchen? I know he said that, uh, the note said that there was something in our bedroom, which I assume is upstairs, but... Let's check it out. Kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to the utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Look. Around? It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Look at the utility room. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay. Uh, go to the hallway and then to the living room. You go back out to the hallway. I wish I could skip the text. Go to living room. And step inside the living room. Spacious and com comfortable living room. I spent a lot of time here uh, playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Great. Can we look? Around? There's nothing here of interest. Can I look at games? A selection of board games. Some bizarre ones that the kids loved, but the parents didn't understand. Look, no, um, I guess go back to the hallway and we'll go upstairs, see what's there. Uh, go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing, stairwell landing, uh, the stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Can I go to the bathroom? Step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's uh, all in good order. Can I look around? Bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Can I go to the mirror? Go to the landing. You step back onto the landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bathroom in the bedrooms. We understand. Nothing has changed. Uh, go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shells are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Can I look at the toys? Every soft toy she's ever owned. Look at the posters. Posters of all her favorite pop stars mixed with some of her own art. She was pretty good. Can I look at the trophies? She won a lot of trophies for dance and gymnastics. Talented girl. 
Uh, look at the bed. It's difficult to see the bed for all the stuffed toys. And well, then let's go to the landing. Ugh. And I guess we'll go into the bedroom. Our bedroom, that is. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many, so many memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. It's still 2.05. And it has been 2.05 this entire time. Uh, look at the gift. On the desk is a gift wrap box. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says your name. Open the gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the ad. Oh, I was reading that. Uh, your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a Futuro 128K uh, plus 2 computer. And a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still, uh, it's all still to be set up, though. Can I use computer? You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Use game? You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Hello? Oh, I like it. Oh, I don't like it. Stop! <laughs> Get out! So it sounded like there was there was like a tap or something um from my living room. I think it was the game. <laughs> uh and I don't think I've ever felt my Switch controller vibrate that aggressively before. Oh, that was horrible. Alright. Um you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember you remember being told to check the glove box before going in can't stand to be near this place uh oh hey um the the eyes on these little photos have been crossed out wonderful <laughs> let's open the glove box inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad you take both i would like to read the note you don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. Okay, okay. I'll get out, I'll get out of the car. <laughs> Chill. Um. Go outside. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. No happy mem memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Can I... Does the note change if I look at it again? Text seems to read, This is what you wanted. Okay, so it does. <laughs> huh. Can we... Go around? Step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Can I read the note? The note now reads, <laughs> Gibberish. <laughs> I hate it when my note just reads, reads gibberish. Uh, look. Around. There's an old generator next to you. Use 
generator. I need my controller to stop vibrating is the thing. Um, there isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go. Wait, wait, not go to the generator. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> it's those bad eye frequency vibrations. We don't want those. <gasps> Hi, stars. Also, thank you for the contribution to Wholesome Week. All around. How are you doing, friend? <laughs> La -la house looks abandoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. We understand. There's no love here. Um, can I use the key? You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Go house. <gasps> doing all right. I don't a weird week and now we're playing a, a scary text adventure game so you know what i guess i guess we're doing pretty all right <laughs> glad you're doing well too though uh pitch black but your senses are punished more by the smell of stale air and damp this could not be less inviting the note burns in your hand you feel compelled to read it over and over can i read the note it's too dark to read but it feels weird to the touch uh is there a switch can we look around fumbling around the wet walls you find a light switch use the switch afraid of what you might see you flick the light switch oh god the lights flicker on and off the walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse there are stains and Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Stop. Alarm clock. Alarm clock now says 9999. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Right? I think we all just, like... All sustained, sustained psychic damage from hearing that alarm. It's a bad alarm. It just makes me think of school. Uh, look at note. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Let's go to the living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look around. Run down and empty. Abandoned. And for good reason. Look at games. The games are in disarray. Pieces are missing and the boxes are moldy. Look at furniture? Furniture looks disgusting. There's no way you would sit on it. Well, I wasn't I wasn't planning on it. Uh, let's go back to the hallway. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Okay. Um, yeah, your furniture stinks. <laughs> Not the deading rooms. It's kind of true, though. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. I want to see if the utility room is open. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rust and metal, and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall, and the uh, utility room door has a red X painted on it. Look at the carcass? You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Look at the utility room. <laughs> Everything is stinky. Uh, there's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, must be paint. Feels like the note. Wait, that means it's blood. 
eat? Hold on. Touch the carcass. Absolutely not. It might be an animal, but you aren't. Touch the utility room? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, eat the note. You are not able to do that. Eat the carcass. You are disappointed in yourself for even going there. This is horrible. Um. <laughs> it's a real banger. <laughs> okay, there's nothing, nothing in the kitchen for us right now. <laughs> also, did it just say my shoes are wet? This is horrible. Not the wet shoes. Um, let's go upstairs, I suppose. Yeah, upstairs, they creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister sister's room. Why is that doubled? In the bathroom. Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Answer the phone? Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up. The phone. Relief. <laughs> it's a, I couldn't tell if it was saying to get into the house or get out of the house. Landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at the pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Look at... Let's go to the bathroom. So we can pee a little. Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. Sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Look at the sink. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Use the sink? You are not able to do that. Okay. Let's go back to the landing. Oh, I like that you can hear the the footsteps. <laughs> Yeah, disgusting! Horrible bathroom. Let's go to the sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't, uh, you can't bear this. Get. Go to my room? I mean, that's where I am. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Look around. Landing is barren, worn. Photos adorn the walls, all misalign. Read my note. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Okay. Um. Not read. Open sister's room? Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go back to the hallway downstairs. Also, rip it and rip it. Can we <laughs> just just do the slow Luna beat you do it <laughs> um let's go to the kitchen was the utility room locked or did it just have the the red X on it also sorry I need to get tilted to more comfy 
There's writing on the wall. Oh, right. I didn't look at the writing. Look at the writing. I was too busy shoving my hands into a carcass. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. And blood, the number 19. Is that 85 or 86? <laughs> Truth be told, I also, I also like it. What is this? Oh, it's the number. That's cool. That's also a six. It's a six. Can confirm. Next to the eight, it just, it's, there's the potential, but it's a six. Because see, it's there on the wall. That's a one, that's a nine, that's an eight and a six. Neat. So 1986 is smeared across the wall. Great. Let's go. No, can I open the utility room? The door is locked. Okay. I can't get in there. Not yet. Okay, let's go to the hallway. 1986. 1986. Also, I would like a little bit of gum. So, excuse me. Let's go upstairs. Um, I also personally like the visual of rats because I love rats. That's perfect. Um, can I use the lock? You grab the lock. The lock is rusted. Not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. <laughs> just, just, just lots of scary things. That's all. Oops. Oops. 1986. <gasps> <laughs> mind it all of the time but there are times where it's like especially when you're in the middle of like a bunch of action when somebody's like oh tell me what tell me what i'm what what i missed and it's and it's like well i can't at the moment but in this case yeah yeah what stars said everything is everything is stinky um and there's someone in the house with us and we can hear them walking around and i just got a code to be able to Get into a room, I think. Open my room? You're not able to do that. Okay, what did I? Look at my room. There's nothing unusual about that. Use the lock. You grab the lock. Lock is rusted, not used in many years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. Did I type it in wrong? 1986, right? Lock clicks open. I might have typed it in wrong. Okay, um. Open my room. Go, go to my room. Open the, not the lock. <laughs> I keep, I keep hitting the wrong things. Because I keep trying to type too fast. And by type too fast, I mean select too quickly. Okay, I have to sneeze. Excuse me. Okay. <gasps> good luck. Good luck on gaming. Also, thank you. <laughs> uh, open the door. 
You open the bedroom door. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> uh, look. Around? The landing is bare and worn. Photos of the door on the wall. All misaligned. Wait, no. Okay. Uh, go into the room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Can I read? I want to read the purse. I want to read the note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Uh, I don't have any other- I don't ha- I don't have an option. Let's go with the middle ended, I guess. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, please stop. No. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. No. No. Oh. Why me? <laughs> I'm innocent? I don't- I don't think. <gasps> Thank you, Travis, for the contribution. I didn't do it. Okay, I guess I have to say it. <laughs> I don't like the heavy breathing happening behind me. Finally. But what was in the utility room? But who was who was phone? I have many a question. I like that though. Okay. Um listen. Are there multiple options or no. Options? I want to know... If there are multiple endings, I guess. But it's fine. A scientist is asked to perform a series of tests on a strange artifact within a rundown lab. Gradually, however, these tests become more and more uncomfortable. Okay. Maybe we will get through all these. That only took us like 45 minutes to do, and that was with me like fucking around. <laughs> these other ones I've never played, so it'll be interesting to see. <laughs> this is good. This is a good opening. <laughs> subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, <laughs> recovered from... It is a very good emote for the music. <laughs> At the moment it appears in <laughs> showing no signs of activity. <laughs> Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. 
Follow the proprietary experiment brief, exactly, no details. So always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our Red brief, the green light X. will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. I One should be thing. listening, but... Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. First manual ready, for calibration settings procedures when sync master flashes green shits. Experiment one, internal analysis. Subject J, 1986, MEM is enclosed to the solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Um. Experiment. Uh, manual. Electromagnetic. Expect. But it bit it bit bit. <laughs> Move cursor test. Move desk. <gasps> Whoa! 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 Okay. Manual. We want an X-ray, right? Required apparatus. Camera monitor set to X-ray charge. CC eighty six X ray device. Oh, okay, 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 game, game. I need you to know I'm kind of an idiot. I don't know what any. Wait, they said the CC eighty six. It needs to be set to Okay. Uh Camera Memex Hold on a second. Monitor needs to be set to x-ray. How do I do that? Oh! Okay, so the first one is full color, the second one is infrared, third one is x-ray. I'll get there. I'll figure it out. Okay, monitor is set to x-ray. Uh, we need the camera and then charge the CC86 to, to x-ray. It's charged. Camera. Did I do it? Good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no... I'm a genius! <laughs> There's a lot of machines here and I don't know what any of them are. I'm just pushing buttons. Okay. Dee -dee. Duh. I'm a science genius! Okay. Um. Surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay, can I... Red laser? Concentrated light, two. Required apparatus, the camera, the monitor, monitor set to RGB, and the LZR2 light generators. We needed it red, so we needed it 650. Uh, this needs to be over here. We need this. At six fifty, and the camera is on. That does appear to be a heart. <laughs> no reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. How high? Green light. 
Oop, wrong button. What is cooking but science with a specific end in mind? Higher frequency? It's a green, right? Shit, I keep hitting the wrong button. Green is 510. 510. <gasps> Hi, Kim. We've been, we've been, we've been getting through it. <laughs> Hope you're doing well as well. Signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. I don't want to keep increasing it. Blue light. Shit. I keep wanting to... So it's... It's like the L1 button to pull up the commands, which was fine in the last one, but I keep trying to use that to, like, bounce between the two sections. <laughs> which is not correct. It said blue, right? So... 455? Seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. No activity registering in the core. Possibly damaged. Let's push further. I think don't. I did a live dit. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to one. Okay. Uh. Acoustic resonance, 250 hertz. We want three. With the S one, because that's sign. Camera monitor, signal generator. Amplifier to set the gain. They said one, right? I guess I could look. Yeah, gain gain to one. That needs to be turned off. We need to set that to one. You need to be turned on to sign and two fifty. Is that all right? <laughs> oh, I didn't turn this on. Okay. I guess it does help to like turn on all of the the things. I don't like this sound. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. What am I doing? <laughs> what is this? Who am I? Should I be here? 500 hertz. Gain five. Okay. <laughs> like in the 90s when you had to turn on the TV and also the VCR and also the speakers and maybe the surround sound. Honestly, though, honestly, though, but also I, I also sit here and question my question. What am I doing all of the time? Who am I? Might be the finished janitor. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Might be. Should increase. See the risk of damage. What about the uh, volunteer? Is that me? Am I the volunteer? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Okay. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object switch to square wave, maintaining the current frequency. 
<laughs> this is not my beautiful house. This is not my stinky bathroom. Thank you, David Byrne. <laughs> Do we love me some talking heads? Hey, I don't think that's that's great. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. Also, I, I know this might seem didn't want to point it out, but we do have a drill attached to the side of this machine. Right here. Which is a little concerning. Um, maintain the gain 5 and the square waveform. Bring the waveform frequency up to 1k. Okay! <laughs> I don't like this noise. Oh, it be wiggling. Oh! Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Was there an orb in there? Stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. That would be great. <laughs> the protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Off. Off. Right, it's dangerous to wiggle at high frequencies. You'll explode. Don't do it, kids. Oh! I think I broke it. How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. I don't know that you do. Just a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. <laughs> Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. No! It orb. Right. Sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. Did I just get punched by orb? Don't try to speak. I got stabbed by orb. Orb said, hey, fuck you. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like I a am conscious orb. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. Right. I need to. I need to report this. Uh ophthalmologist Wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship's hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills you into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Work your way through. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at computer. <laughs> Monitor blinks demanding attention. The system looks usable. 
Okay, can I use the computer? You tap at the screen and the airlock door spl splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. Ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its of the reserves. Uh, look at the airlock. The airlock has been opened. The noxious atmosphere pours in. Look at the wreckage. The ship has been torn apart on its final journey. Very little is salvageable from this. Systems are largely destroyed and unusable. Okay, can I go to the airlock? This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is hiding. I don't think I did everything right. There was some X'd out? Some boxes X'd out? Our poor brain. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your ship. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights in? pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. The ship. Look the around. Continue. Crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Mangled metal. Oh no! <laughs> oh heck! Look at the wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Okay, look at the ship. There is no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Look at the sky. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Look at the lights. The lights are blinding. You can make out silhouettes, but you will need to move some of the surrounding wreckage for a better view. Look at the writing. The writing partially shows the name of the ship. Um, me, to a culpa. These words will haunt you. Okay. Uh, look. Use wreckage. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. <laughs> right? Listen. <laughs> um. Can I go around? And reaction unavailable. Command not recognized. Uh, go towards the light, Carolyn. Oh, you think? Okay, no, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, look around. Circle of artificial light surrounds you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Look at the, the not the wreckage, not the writing even. at the figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Go to the figure? Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Okay, that's you cool. Part of yourself. Why do I feel like my brain's gonna explode here pretty dang quick? <laughs> Oh, poor buddy. Buddy got poked and prodded and it makes me sad. Yeah. We awake. The room 
is silent only for the quiet hum. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine feet. The touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Look around. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There's some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. I don't like the people that we're working for. Look at the bed. Cushioned horizontal surface, one each side. Metal or alloy barrier, presumably to stop you falling out. Also, bruh, it's it's a legion situation. They've even said that they're all the same. You a bad you're bad reading. <laughs> Let's look at the writing. Stick together a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Look at the wires. A series of wires leave the machine and run across to our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Look at the door. The door in the corner looks atmospherically sealed shut. Collective discomfort is right, right? I feel I'm I'm feeling discomfort for our buddy. They're all feeling it. We're all feeling it. Screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers and rhythm? Uh, don't look. Go to the door. Can't reach the door. Effectively tethered to the machine. Uh, use the white, not the writing. Oh my god. Use the wires. What just happened? What's that alarm? <gasps> Hi, Fruity! We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action, action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Go to the door. How's it going, friend? Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. Oh, God. That vision. It's not a yeah. memory. It's happening right now. Welcome to Orb! Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. No, I don't think I will. I assume I'm Mr. Asian. I had played the House Abandoned before, but I haven't played any of the other ones, so this is very exciting for me. Who that? Who that? Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with the device on the table. It looks familiar. We don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone slash together. Um. Oh no! <laughs> Not the nun frames! <laughs> I might be playing this on my Switch. So hopefully it holds up, but we'll see. Um, it is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut, and the other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from your, it's, my, our ship. We have all become one. We understand. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to, com to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time we use them. Um... I guess we will use the device. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Oh, I think I understand. Mr. Ace, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. Nah. We have to know more. The greater Rebelling good. Now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Am I? <laughs> I don't understand. Or maybe I do. That one. That and then. That? 
funny. Okay, hold on a second. That first one is this one? Oh, this is so hard to see. Maybe that. No, it is this one. And then I hate this. Can you just give me the code, buddy? these is I don't know what I'm doing and all of this makes no sense to me Okay, that was, that was rough. <laughs> I get not necessarily wanting to, like, make the, make it, like, super duper obvious, but I needed those further away from the screen. That was too much to look at. <laughs> hey, friends! Orb friends! What are we doing? Sure, it's fine. That was neat. <laughs> Next one. I think we're. I think I'm gonna drop my phone first off. Uh, but we might just finish this today, right now, because we're already halfway through, right? It's only hour fifteen. <laughs> right. You're not the boss of me. You don't know what I'm going to regret. Let's go. Ooh, stretch. You going to do it? St uh, switch? Going to load? Thinking about it. I hope orb friends are okay. I love our pals. Station 3, do you read me? 
Come inside, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. We love Orb Friend here. Come on, three. Log in. Quit fucking around. Hey, there's my password. Just right there. Zero, three, zero, three, one, nine, six, eight. There he is. Finally, what took you? Is the microphone still broken in station three? Uh. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, you can't reply. We should be able to hear you though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, three. Yep. This is pretty serious. Microfiche. call from Central. There's a situation, and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. Okay. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Telephone directory yes. to save time. Okay. What do we do then? <sighs> well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done hey. any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. Should be on your left. I was, I was trying to. Start the generator. Don't fuck it up. Focus in? Oh, God. I can't read a thing here. Y'all want me I to read well. this shit? Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh. Ha. Huh. Surfer, bruh, for the stuff that I have to read? All right. Okay. FM. I want to go to nineteen thirty, which is very far away. Wrong place. Thirteen zero fourteen. 14, 9, 3. Code word reference, abacus. Okay. Alright. Oh! <laughs> um. <laughs> Hang on. Listen. Listen. I need this. I need that off. I don't need that beeper going off the whole time. Abacus. Focus out. Zoom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, run, EXE, all 202 out false. Execute, wait. On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. Okay. Run. Nope, turn off. Run. Dot exe 
enter. I'll do a two out false execute. All two oh two. There should be a space in there. Enter. I've already forgotten what the other, the last one is. Out false. Okay. Out base dash false there execute hey okay my light here just turned green and the signal stopped so i think you did it right great next one coming up in 30 seconds apparently don't leave them hanging too long I don't know what they're for, but I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shit. The numbers! Course, we'll what do they there. mean? Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Thirty-five. For USB. Twenty six fourteen zero one two twenty twenty six. Oh, it's at the bottom. What am I doing? Zero one two Chevron. Also, is my internet tripping? Fourteen zero. Might be. I might be having some internet issues at the moment because it is snowing fairly hard here. Um, if it gets too bad, let me know. Chevron is what we're looking for, right? Portfolio, Kansas, mask, on me, canvas, whiskey, landscape, orange, centaur, home, Jennifer, Sacrifice, Drive, Chevron. Oh god, it rotates so much. On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal, substituting any dynamic variables and execute. Okay. Variable replacement, where x equals second, y equals fifth, and z equals sixth number from broadcast code. Second, fifth, and sixth from the broadcast code. Ref dot in it negative one. In it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ref. That's not, I want, oh, there's the shift button, I see it. And negative one. I kinda like this. Enter. What's our next line? Brock, begin! Easy. Brock, space. Begin. Enter. And then it's. Act proc, second, fifth, and sixth. Act proc, second, fifth, and sixth? That's the wrong button. Okay. Zero, one, two. When? 
Execute. Oh, okay. I need a space in that first one. Uh, space minus one. Enter. Execute. Great. I did it. Thanks, Ree. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Yeah. Next one coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, no, this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team, and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Oh, okay, she needed different. to check it. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal, and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Okay, 1132 zero. On AM. I have to scroll so far. <laughs> oh my god, it's so wiggly. There we go. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, there's a fine tune button. I'm an idiot. Hold on. Gross. Okay. Uh, hey, do we have a thing for Morse code around here? Consider? Chevron, sibling, appendices. Also, phonetic. Ah. I don't know what any of this means. GCS chart. Hold on. Base commands for movement. I just want to read. Alpha phonetic conversation, Morse code. Oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay, so we've got... that zero so the first one is five and then four dashes and a dot is nine two dash three dots is seven seven dot 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 dash dash is 
three. And then zero again. Great. You, you can stop now. You can stop doing the beepy thing. <laughs> zero nine seven seven. Three zero. Kansas. That's the, that's the eyeball zoom. Jennifer, home, centaur, orange. I think Kansas was like towards the beginning. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, stop rotating. Just zoom in. On receipt of this callback code, please. Conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal, substituting any dynamic variable and execute. Rot point X, rot point Y, Loxus 4. X, largest number from original broadcast, smallest number from original broadcast. So, rot point 9, rot point 0, Loxus 4. Rot point... Rot point 9, rot point 0. Rot... Point... Nine. Rot. Point. Zero. Loxus four. Right? K1, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No mm. responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'd be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. So between... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Eight, eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. I would love to. Can I have my cursor back? <laughs> FM? We're just going to listen to a radio for a little bit. Is there anyone greeted? My supply vessel 20F, do you read me? Oh my god, that's them. The distress signal for supply vessel 20F. Please respond. Is anyone there? Hi. We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. Or them have messed with our GPS and so Orbs? What on earth is he talking about? Well, hold up here. Just got word from Central that New York has fallen. Everyone's gone missing now. I thought a signal so remote would get us to high noon, but uh, I see it coming. Be ready. All of you. It's 20 o'clock. Dang. Are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock 
your door to. Three, do the same. What okay. do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. Hey, I think They're everyone's here. dying is, oh, is the thing. Who are they? Orbs. Shit, Wom, there's another GCS signal coming in. Do we, do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signal. That's it in. Very cool. My. Lulu. Sierra. Hotel. Okay, where is this one? Bravo. Very cool. My. Lulu. Not Mike. Yeah. Um, Mike. Sierra. Hotel. Wait, this isn't it. Bravo. Echo. Oh. Uh... Lulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. <laughs> How horrible would that be, though? <laughs> MZS HB Bravo Echo Yeah, okay. Um My wait, frequency. Sierra. What frequency am I on? Sixty nine seventy? Echo. Okay, so we're doing the third line. My Lulu. Which Sierra. is Fifteen to My. Sierra Ooh. is S, which is twenty one. Hotel. Hotel Bravo. is ten. Echo. Bravo is four. Echo is My. seven. Lulu. Sierra. Hotel. And we'll Input fifteen two twenty one ten four and seven not send car um Going Chevron Drive, Sacrifice, Jennifer, Home Centaur. On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal, substituting any dynamic variables and execute. Where's the. Do we have the. Dynamic variable substitute here. Hey, game. That input terminal code hitting enter. No, that's not what I need. Oh, okay. We don't have any dynamic variables. Out period status CMD negative data. Out, out dot status. Proc timer true. Out dot status. Ooh. 
And it didn't look like there were any spaces there. So... Status. Enter. CMD minus data. Is that command? And proc timer negative true. Enter proc. Timer dash true e, -e, -e, e we're doing great screen there's something I don't know what I'm looking at cabling one I can see something above three's cabin one of the power lines down uh oh one, are you there? Hello? Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, One. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me. It's over Station 3-2. They're here. What's here? Jesus, One, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Oh, and it's <laughs> one is Shit. offline. Here's another signal. GCS seven equals E one V five M one. It's not gonna tell us. It's flashing urgent. Not gonna tell us. We're not gonna know. It's he. I wonder if it's Big Orb. That'd be cool. Big. <laughs> Not sacrifice. Okay. Guys, are any of you walking around in that storm? That's Jennifer. crazy. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. On receipt of this callback code. Oh, sorry. All received this callback code. Conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal, substituting any dynamic variables to execute. X equals numbers 1, 2, and 3 from the original broadcast represent a longitude. Y equals numbers 4, 5, and 6 from the original broadcast representing a latitude. Z equals number letters in the, uh, something. Three. Well, from... Station four, do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. I, I'm not going outside. So it's run dot exe one, two, and three from the broadcast. Um before I do that, I'm I'm not gonna go I can't go outside. I would go outside just to see, but guys, I'm shutting down station nine, five and getting the fuck zero, out of here. They one, took eight, six. nine, station zero. Six is Shut up! Gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. Station five. One eight nine zero four five. One eight. Okay. Um. Great, I've already forgotten everything that I'm doing because someone wouldn't shut up over the radio. <laughs> run.exe. What is happening here? I'm clicking on things. Um, run.exe. 18. Yeah, okay. 189. Run.exe 189. Oh, excuse me. Run dot exe space one eight nine. Excuse me, excuse you. 
And then act import 045. Act import 045. And then point one minus number of letters in the authorization word from Appendix C. Where is Appendix C? D? Appendix C. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What do we got? Start. What is our signal modulation? Good fucking question. USB. Okay, so broadcast frequency is 8150. So we go down here to the process total of broadcast numbers. Total is under 30. Yes, so it's Tesla? I had forgotten what the thing is. Hold on. Sacrifice. Point one minus Tesla. Where is point? Point minus one. How do I type that in? Hold on. Wait, I don't type that in. It's the number T E S L A five. Execute? Did I type that in wrong? I mean, if it's just us and Orb, that's cool. I think there's a space between point one. Oh, wait, no, it's point one negative or dash or whatever. No! <laughs> 189, I, uh, uh. <laughs> Enter, enter. Clear, 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 clear. Space. One. Is there a space between the one and the dash? There is. Space. Dash. Space. Five. Okay, so it's Alexander, which is A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R? Nine? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm bad at my job. Hey. Spread any code. Three. James. The last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. I don't think I should? Oh. Oh, we've gotten got. Well. We can go visit Orb, and that's lovely. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, we got dragged out here. <laughs> and we're not gonna be concerned about that? Just 
gonna casually continue on and be like, yeah, all right. I guess I'm outside now. Listen, as somebody who loves their job, I wouldn't do this for my job. Something grabs me and yanks me out of my room after I have been told that I need to go fix some big thing. It's not happening. I'm not. I'm going back. I'm going back into the room and you cannot get me to come out. That's how that works. <laughs> no yeti only orb why is the transmitter so far away <laughs> smiley no <laughs> I'm having to go so far this is ridiculous Sound design in this is really good. I hate it. Over here? Is it you? <laughs> Listen. Yeti's got it going on. Big, burly, strong arms, good for hugs. Uh, always warm. Can do a lot of heavy lifting if you need him to. Uh, what else? Good at smashing things will take care of any bugs that get into your house. <laughs> he will make you snow cones. According to the Monster, uh, Monsters, Inc. universe. I believe it. <laughs> Probably has a really cool cave that you can go hang out in. I need to finish. There it is. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Smiley. <laughs> now nah, we're here for it. Oh god, this is hard to aim. What is happening? Excuse me? I can't feel my legs, Jane. Sorry, I was tooting. I'm so tired. Two, I don't even know you? Where did these cars come from? Sorry, I've had beans. Yeah, she's a hundred percent dead. <laughs> He's coming back. They are they are being worn. They, they are no longer them. They are skin suits for orb friends. We gotta stop tooting. It is the honking. He's coming back. I feel like I shouldn't come back. Here's the thing. I keep hearing people acknowledging that I'm coming back. James, everyone is waiting on you. You need to wake up. <laughs> I would love it if it was a big goose. That sounds like the doctor from the last episode. Uh, 
<laughs> the fuck? My house has been tentacled. Mr. Asian, can you hear me? <gasps> That's me! That was who we were in the last one! Come back for the little sucky suck, I see. Welcome back. I say to Dracula as he breaks into my room and stares at me. Please don't say that. Not the sky straw. <laughs> oh, one more. We got one more. Let's do it. <laughs> These are cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Last session. Patient undergoes hypnotic regression therapy. Okay. thinking about it. There it goes. <laughs> I think that's enough of that for now. I was listening to that! We were listening to that! You're quite fond of Show, aren't you? I didn't have enough of it. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. I don't want to go. I want to watch my shows. I guess I don't have any choice in this. This is this is when you reach back and you start smacking like whoever is pushing you around in the wheelchair. Let's go, no thank you. That's enough of that. <laughs> Just in here. I don't like this room, it's very dark. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. I don't want to. I don't want to be here. I want to go watch my shows. I just want to watch my TV shows. All right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? No. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. No. Oh, I can't. Okay. This is subject twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in the room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. In our last... The accident session, with the sky straw? James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. I'm dubious yeah. about this. It's time to remember. What if Big Orb was behind it the whole time? Your mind. It's like a conscious white box. Big Orb! It show you your memory. Look into it. I don't wanna... JK, I do. I love Orb. In your most recent episode, you recall the false memory of a remote weather station. I am you were Orb. From the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily. Encouraging family would do number puzzles with you 
anything really to bring you back. People needed answers, Jane. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610 FM. You can't miss it. Yeah, okay. FM. I don't like that nearly as much because I have to constantly click the button. I'll just hold it. 5, 6, 10. We'll use it for the fine tuning. medical file. Something about two cars crashing into each other? Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a head, a near head-on collision. Mr. H had found lying down outside his car, or his vehicle with head injuries. The ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle. Um, in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is, uh, is it something police officer of third or twenty years? So wait, was the cop drunk? That's my understanding of that. They did a very bad job of indicating. <laughs> Let me tell you. Where is report? Is this, is this report? Okay, hold on. Um. Can I? That code is case sensitive. What information am I trying to pull from this? So the only thing that's circled is the accident type. Fatal accident. Right? I don't 
don't know what they want me to type here. <laughs> F in chat for for a sister. Sorry. <laughs> Blue sedan. Empty whiskey. Do head injuries. Cause maybe, maybe I'm supposed to like do it in a specific order, right? I mean, that would make sense. Or is it head-on collision? Head-on should be first. Two cars that have been involved in a near head-on collision. I guess let me test it. Yeah. Head on. I don't understand. Am I missing something? Let me. F. 12, 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. Guess. This is 20 F. Oops. Clear. 20 F. Space dash fatal accident. Okay. Um, it's line two, line three. Let me just get rid of all that. Fatal accident. Oh, is it the bits that are like empty whiskey out of control? It's the bits that are like highlighted or italicized? I don't know. They're outlined. They've got the little dashes next to them. So empty whiskey and out of control. I understand. Empty whiskey out of control. There we go. Sometimes it just takes you a minute. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to be listening. Also, sorry, I keep like finally scrunching up in my chair. <laughs> Seven hundred FM? Seven thousand FM? Yeah, it was it was weird. Now that I know what they want though easy. I know what to look out for. It's not like it. At all. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No Force way shut, plunging you into darkness. It's him. This Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Uh-oh. Was I the drunk driver? Did I plant the evidence? Does it make sense to you? Step out into the hospital ward only to uh, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. I 
I understand now why Fruity had zero frames when they played this. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. Driving home, don't have that fifth pint. First steps to recovery. Heads up, someone else is here. Hello. You grab the keys from the table. They weigh heavy in your hand. I just want orb friend to protect me. That's all. Can I go here? <gasps> Shoes! We spent most waking moments in here. The only video they have, some horror compilation. Trash. Fly safe. <gasps> Untold stories. Also, that's the name of the computer that we had. The Futuro. Another door you never opened. You don't know what was in there. Oh. Oh, that's the way you want me to go, isn't it? You only caught a glimpse of this room. You guess that's why there's no detail in here. It's kind of cool. Hello? Okay. Well, that was a cool room. But I never want to go back in. Thanks. Waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. Excuse me? Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. Please stop! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to be here. Feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Yeah, I do! Hello! Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. Yeah, the collective discomfort. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 Gs. Come on, 100 joules, charging up full to 10. Okay, I don't know which one I... That's not right. Come on. That's an eyeball. Yeah, okay. Oh, jeez. Can we get this on the screen, please? I, I'm trying? This night. Is that not what we want? I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Sir, I'm I'm attempting to. Here's the thing. What if I just turn everything on? What then? <laughs> Charge 
Turn over. Okay, yeah. Clear. No I, I understand. Let's try higher. Two hundred jewels. Keep the amp charge at ten. Ah, oh, jeez. Two hundred jewels. Keep the charge at ten. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I, I got it now. I understand now. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, or a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. This is too much! It's also not how this is used, but okay. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x ray right away. X ray! Turn that off. Where are Turn we that off. Right? I, now, sir, I am trying as fast as I can. We're, we're moving as quickly as possible. It looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on a drill, please. Oh. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Drill, please. Drill's on! Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Collective discomfort? Oh boy! Scary house. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Let's stick around. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of Mom and Dad. There is a door to the hall. Go to the hallway. You push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Go. Actually, can I look at the banner? Bon voyage, James. Finally not the family disappointment. Can I look at the beer? Bottles of beer and half-drunk glasses of wine. Okay. Um. Go to the stairs? As much as you'd love to, you promised you'd stay downstairs at the party. Go to the kitchen. I say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and uh, full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Yeah, I'm not allowed to explore. It's tragic, honestly. <laughs> There is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Um, can I look at the writing on the wall? There's nothing unusual about that. Well, I want to, okay. Can I, can I read it? Read the writing. Happy New Year, 1986. Another banner, weird place to hang it. Uh, can I look at the utility room? Utility room door is unlocked. That's odd. Go to utility room? My sister can wait. 
Just as you are about to head inside the utility room, Jen places her hand on your shoulder. Oh. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. Yes. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Or a drink. You pour Jen a drink and one for yourself too. I didn't I didn't say to pour myself a drink. It's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you ever uh, if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Yes. You tell her yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family have really gone out their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's gonna miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. No, how about I don't? Let's go to the utility room. <laughs> You open the door and peer in. <gasps> Never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Oh. Can I read the card? You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt shouldn't really but you have to try it no with your whiskey in hand you take in the room around you there must be hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of drink in here you really must thank your dad for the whiskey right go for water go to the kitchen i'm gonna refuse to drink anything i know i can't really change it but i'm not gonna do it Stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. Oh, no. Take another swig and give the thumbs up to your dad across the room. He nods and winks. Never mind. I guess I don't have a, a say in this. A drink, dad! Drink, my friends! I'm gonna eat the roast. Maybe later. No! Go to... Mom. Sorry, I don't understand. Talk to mum. She's in the other room singing your praises. Talk to dad. He tells you he's proud of you. And to go easy tonight. Early flight tomorrow. Uh, go to... Actually, talk to friends? Yes, it's a big move. Yes, it's the dream job. Yes, you leave tomorrow. You trot off the same answers again and again. Can we go to the hallway? Go back to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. Hey Jen, you cool? Help. Jen. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Talk to Jen? Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Uh. Go to Jen? Nope, doesn't understand. Sorry, I don't understand. Hey, I need you to not put the text at the top as well. Look at Jen. Sorry, I don't understand. It's, it's getting bigger no matter what I do. Help Jen. Help Jen. Help Jen. I'm That's sorry. what the face was. We tried our best with the sensitization, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could, I'm so sorry. So is she. Let me see her. Please, Miss Duration, take a seat. I don't want right, to take Jen, what the fuck? Now. I'll arrange for you can't just show up to my party and go carry on us, okay? He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Oof. Uh. Your 
you're standing in the hallway. Something had stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. Still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, we can talk in the car. Go get your keys. No, no, go. Uh, talk to anyone? Literally anyone? Go to living room? You're sure your keys are in the living room? That's not why I'm going to the living room. Living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mama is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Uh, talk to mom. Tears immediately start to appear in her eyes. My son, off to America. She gives you a hug. No, mom. Okay, okay. Mom's just gonna keep crying. And isn't going to listen. Despite me trying to talk to her. Friends? Hey, friends. Who's not drunk? I have no idea where you left your car keys. Ugh! Look at friends. It's not what I meant to do, but... All friends of mom and dad in this room, they are all being very pleasant to you. Look around coffee table a drinks cabinet one of the chairs is overflowing with jackets of coats uh right <laughs> yeah no we definitely shouldn't find the keys you're right um go to table i say this and immediately like start looking i don't know where to Use jackets? You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha, uh -huh, car keys in the pocket. You grab both. I don't... Mom! About as useless as my own. Um, okay. Uh... Go, I guess. Go through the hallway... Head back to the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She was she has work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. I'm not in a fit state to drive. Ah! You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Call a taxi. Sleep here for the night. I don't know. Call out of work tomorrow. I would continue to try to do everything I can to stop this from happening, but we all know it's going to happen, and I can't do anything, so let's just get the inevitable over with. Cold air hits you. You are glad you have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house, and the car sits in the front of the house. Go around? Can I go around? Sorry, I don't understand. Of course you fucking don't. Go to car. Yeah, only whiskey and orb. One of those is a good choice. It's orb. Orb is the good choice. Fumble with the car handle, confused until Jen tells you to maybe use the keys in your hand. Okay, listen. <laughs> car is freezing. As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car uh, glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's, uh, for when you return. No, I want to read it now. Read note. Note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Great. Cool. Hey, Jen, I'm not driving you home. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave the car, um, uh, and go play my computer game. Okay, go. I can't. I can't get out of the car. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll use the keys. Just slurp it out. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. Drink. Car. 
computer doesn't understand. Drink the keys. Uh, turn. I guess turn the car. Turn the key and the ignition and the car roars to life. You wouldn't drink a car. Yes, I would. Fucking watch me. <laughs> Drive the car. Car squeals, but stay stationary. Jen suggests releasing the brake, giving you a wide-eyed stare. Hey, Jen, maybe at this point you should suggest neither of us drives. Use the brake. Consider. Very hesitantly, release the handbrake. Drive, not drive, brake. Drive, car. Put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like a first time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. It shouldn't take long. You come to a uh, junction. Is it left or right? I can't remember. Go. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? You don't want to, but you could better ask Jen for directions. Talk to Jen. Talk to Jen. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. Left. Of course it's left. Left. <laughs> Drink yourself. Confident that you are on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Drink. Accelerator. Use the brake. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There is a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. Jen. She's just yelling like a typical little sister. Leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Use the brake. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins the inside. James, for fuck's sake, pull over. The whole world around you begins to scream. It was at this very moment I knew James. The moment you lost it all. Your sister parents yourself and then you made it worse go on show us what you did drink reality you wake up the car your world is upside down your seatbelt struggles against gravity trying to hold you in your seat an impact into another car has torn a hole in the chassis poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engines you're in grave danger you have to get out of here Hi, Akos! You have come at a heck of a time. Also, it's Orb a friend! <laughs> How are you doing, pal? Um, use seatbelt? You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump onto the roof of the car. Uh, look at Jen. She's alive, but she has been hurt bad. She's trapped in the wreckage. <gasps> I'm glad you're doing well and that you're excited about things. Feel free to share if you want. No pressure, but we love hearing about all the good stuff. I'm doing all right. We're, uh, yeah, we're doing good. It's been a weird week, but I am excited to be streaming. Uh, this game is really good. Definitely took a turn that I wasn't anticipating, but I like it. Um, and exci also excited about life and stuff. <laughs> um, can I use... <gasps> awesome! I expect, if you're okay with it, that you tell us if and when you get accepted in. <laughs> uh, look. Talk to Jen? I talk to her? I know she's like unconscious, but she's drifting in and out of consciousness. She's very weak. 
I would like to use her seatbelt. Use seatbelt. You've already taken off your seatbelt. I know. I know I took mine off. I would like to take off hers. Help. Jen. You can't do anything for her right now. You need to help yourself now. <laughs> I mean, I have absolute faith in, in in your application, and it's and it's definitely a win, not an if. You got this. So when you get accepted into uni, you better tell us. <laughs> All right, can I go? Actually, can I use the car door? You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car is smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note. And flashing lights are approaching at a distance. I mean, the obvious choice is to, is to plant the whiskey in the other car. Which... But, like they said, the other car happened to be a cop, so this is fine. I'm not able to do that. Hide the whiskey? Well, that's not smart thinking, James, is it? They will eventually find it there, and we'll link it to you. <laughs> Drink a police. Hide it in the other car? Sorry, I don't understand. Um, plant whiskey? With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the shrill of their sirens. Simply cannot go to jail for this. Clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then, very deliberately, spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver, and you toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. A circle of flashing lights surrounds you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Uh, can I talk talk to the figure? Talk to the whiskey! You try to talk, but you are not making any sense. Let's go to the figure, then. As you approach the man, the, pul uh, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer, while the pain in your head increases. You fall to the ground at his me. feet. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, is this sister? That accident. That poor man. No. You have to remember. It was all your fault. Damn! I knew what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that office and wrecked all of our lives. And when we couldn't even take responsibility, you did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Oh, it's very dark. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. I'm not saying shit. Say Tell them. I mean, I guess I am. Listen to yourself. All of your episodes were recorded to tape. This is the fourth. Ma'am, I don't know what you want me to do. No, I don't. Dr. Alexander is always watching remotely. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. Make it stop. Make it stop. Do you remember? What if I just leave? It certainly feels like an emergency. The session, the I mean, I tried! Go back to where we 
started. Point back to the room? Put an end to this nightmare. Here? You can do this, James. You can let go. Or if you want me to go this way... And away from the, the screaming orb. I might be an idiot. I don't know where I'm going. That's a bad room. In there? No, it's locked. <gasps> Thank you for the lurk stars. They are all locked. I don't know what the game wants me to do, because I I clicked that well, so I many times. Clear information. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your show. I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm. like that. <laughs> that was cool. Um, that is all I have for stream today. Because we finished the game. That was the plan, and we did it. Um, no, that was cool. That was really good storytelling. <laughs> I liked it. A couple of the puzzles got me, and I'm not entirely sure if that's because I'm an idiot, or... If there was, or if it was just a, a slightly confusing situation, but yeah, no, that was good. Liked it. It does make me even more excited for uh, their uh, their Silent Hill game. I think they're doing Townfall. Townfall, not Town Hall. Um, yeah, stoked about that. Cool. All right. Hi, Allie. So yeah, that's all I've got for tonight. Um, we will be back on Friday on Sylvie's channel uh, doing some Kingdom Hearts. Potentially also streaming that night. Um, it has kind of been our Valheim day, but uh, Dead Space comes out on Friday. So we'll see how tired I am. Uh, and for Dee and I might start that. Otherwise, that'll be happening this weekend. Um, ooh! Sam Brother might be able to make it to Hearts. Nice! <laughs> That's exciting! Here, let me move over here real quick. Um, yeah. So... Oh, let me turn that on. Um, Kingdom Hearts Friday, potentially... Uh, Oh, I'm gonna raid Sam. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna do Dead Space, uh, possibly Friday, definitely over the weekend, Kingdom Hearts on Friday, uh, and then Blackout Hospital this next week since Arcade's releasing uh, her new game. So y'all got, got all weekend to play it before you'll see me play it. <laughs> Go download it and support it, uh, even if... Even if... Uh, even if you don't end up playing it. But also you should play it because we love arcade here. Um, 
But yeah, that is all I have for tonight. That's the general plan for this next week or so. Um, but let's do... I guess let's do the raid thing. We are going to go raid Sam because they just went live uh, minutes ago and are still on their starting soon screen. Uh, so if you are going to raid with us, there are our raid messages. The first one is for anyone. It has global emotes on it. Second one has our channel emotes. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I got. I am excited about all of the stuff that we're going to be doing in the next like week or two. <laughs> so until then, take care of your dang selves, friends. I will see you later. Have a good rest of your week. I love you too, Allie. Listen. <laughs> and uh, we'll see y'all next time.